I'm Swati and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you top 3 places to visit from Tokyo. Well, let me tell you, Tokyo is a getaway to so many amazing places that it is hard to zero in on one place. I spent 7 days in Tokyo and took a couple of trips and was so overwhelmed by the different seasons and landscapes I witnessed in 7 days. So without any further ado, let me show you top 3 places to visit from Tokyo. And also if you're new here, consider subscribing and hit the bell icon to be notified about my upcoming videos. Let's get started. Literally running to get our romance chair car to Hakone Yomoto. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and oh, tired already. The first place that we visited was Hakone. We took the romance chair car which is a unique chair car, provides comfortable seating, large windows and a panoramic view from the observation deck. It also has fewer stops and takes you directly to Hakone Yumoto station. We also bought a Hakone free pass which covers all the transportation once you are in Hakone and also gives discount on some attractions. The pass is available for 2 and 3 days. People in Japan treat Hakone as a weekend getaway. It's a mountainous town known for its hot spring resorts. We just reached at Hakone Motor Station. We have a free pass and with that we can take unlimited uh, travel in the various modes. And this is how the station looks like. It has just rained over here, so it's become really, really cold and freezing now. After arriving at Hakone Station, we walked out and just after a minute, we saw the beautiful bridge. We walked to the bridge and spent some time overlooking the mountains and the river. We then boarded the bus number 2 to Lake Ashi. From Hakone, one can also witness stunning views of the iconic Mount Fuji if lucky, as Mount Fuji is notorious for playing hide and seek. So after coming to Moto Hakone Ko, we will be taking a cruise but we are taking a short break. This is uh, Lake Ashi. So stunning. The area around the lake was serene with Lake Ashi in front and mountains in the backdrop. We quickly grabbed a bite from 7-Eleven and boarded the pirate ship to Togantai Port. Lake Ashi is located at the foot of Mount Hakone. There, we hopped on to Hakone Ropeway. Within a couple of minutes, views started changing dramatically. On one side, there was Mount Fuji shining in its full glory and on the other side, we saw Owakudani's vast horizon with steam and smoke rising from the ground. We got down and walked closer to Owakudani Valley. It's a volcanic valley with active sulphur vents and hot springs. It's also called Valley of Hell 
because of the gases that rise from underneath. It was phenomenal to be able to witness something like that. This place felt like it belonged to a different world. We then tried the famous Kuro Tamago eggs. For this famous black eggs, and now I'm gonna eat it. It is supposed to add seven years to your life. Let's see. Mm. So hot from inside. They turned black due to being boiled in the hot sulfur spring, and munched on a salty rice cracker later. We then travelled in a ropeway to go down and then hopped onto Hakone Tozen cable car, which is a funicular railway. And then to Hakone Tozen railway, which is a unique mountain railway going up and down Mount Hakone on its steep slopes. It offers incredible scenery every season. We then came back to Hakone Yumoto and used our free pass till Odawara. From there, we used our Japan Rail Pass to come back to Tokyo. Our second trip was to Japanese Alps in a village called Hakuba, which is just outside the Nagano city. We took the Shinkansen from the Tokyo station. After reaching Nagano station, we went to the mall which was just outside the station and spent some time eating and exploring. We also learned that Nagano was the host of the 1998 Winter Olympics. We then purchased bus tickets from the shop below the station to go to Hakuba. Now we are in the bus from Nagano to Hakuba, our hotel. The excitement to witness the Alps in Japan was real. Hakuba is a winter sports hub and has many mountain resorts with terrain for skiing, snowboarding and hiking. We checked into our hotel which was super cozy and cute. So we are in Hakuba now. This is the kitchen. And there's a balcony, but it's night time, so I can't see anything. This is the bedroom. It's very nice wardrobe area. Hello. Yeah. Thank and you. this is the toilet. After settling, we headed to have dinner. Managed to get something vegetarian. That's the hot sake. Mostly it is like tempura, fried vegetables, tofu, some salad, and some rice. Finally, after a whole day, got something to eat. Next morning, we woke up to snow. place looked like a dream. Never have I ever witnessed snowfall like that. Oh my god. We then ticked off another bucket list item which was experiencing the onsen, a must have experience in Japan. We then headed for breakfast. We 
got a lot of options in vegetarian with the most amazing view. We then hired taxi to Hapo and first hired the boots and then boarded the free shuttle to Hapo Gandola. So now we are just going to go to the gondola and Hakuba is a ski destination in Japan and not many people who come to Japan come to this place. Now we are just going to sit on that gondola. I don't know if you can see it. Both of us, we don't know how to ski so we just gonna enjoy the snow uh, yes enjoy every bit of it we purchased the gondola tickets and went straight up just to experience the valley from the top there is also the hakuba valley lift pass for multiple days that gives you access to 10 mountain resorts we bought the one day pass once you get to the top there is everything liquor shop, cafes and rental shops. We spent some time looking at the spectacular sight and enjoying every bit. We saw people skiing and having a great time. We then took a chair car and shuttle bus to return the shoe and taxi to come back to the hotel. We then took the bus from Hapo bus terminal and later boarded the train to go back to Tokyo. The last trip was Kawaguchiko to see Mount Fuji up close. We used our Japan Trail Pass to reach Otsuki. This strawberry mochi is divine. Another level of amazingness in this strawberry mochi. From Otsuki, we boarded Fujisan View Express to reach Kawaguchiko. The interior of the train is made of wood with big windows, which allow passengers to see a great view of Mount Fuji in comfort. We then took the bus to get to our hotel. Our hotel had traditional Japanese this rooms. This is our typical Japanese style room in Kawaguchiko. These are classic futons and a traditional seating area. And that's it. Konnichiwa. We are at Lake Kawaguchiko. And it is about sunset time. After settling, we walk to Lake Kawaguchi. Lake Kawaguchi is the most popular lake and has the longest shoreline of any of the Fuji Five Lakes. We reached here during the sunset and love walking around on a cold evening.
everywhere we manage somehow to find vegetarian restaurants and in Kawaguchi Ko we found an Indian restaurant just opposite our hotel and now we are having alu palak and garlic naan and we are happy because I was sure that I'm not gonna get anything vegetarian over here so now I am relieved Next morning we had delicious vegetarian breakfast in the hotel We then took the bus to head back to the station. The area around the station had many shops. I was so amazed to see different variety of Kit Kat, Coca Cola, and cakes in spring theme. Traveling in a local train to Otsuki Station now. Yes, to get to the Well, these were the three places that we visited from Tokyo. If you have any questions regarding these three places, write to me in the comments below. I would be happy to help. And that's it. I will see you next time pretty soon. Bye-bye.